As winter slowly penetrates the hilly state of Nagaland in northeast India, a festive mood seeps into the valleys. There is a buzz in the air. This is the sound of Nagaland preparing for the Hornbill Festival held in the first week of December every year. The festival is named after a bird greatly admired by the Naga people for its beauty and grandeur. The bird, the hornbill, is mentioned in much of the folklore of Nagaland. The festival takes place at the Naga Heritage Village in Kisama, not too far from Kohima. The village is a microcosm of each of the Naga tribes. Tourists are welcomed warmly to the traditional huts of each tribe where one can sit with the elderly people of the tribe and share stories. Each morung or tribal hut houses that particular tribe's own cuisine with the ever-present rice beer being sold to visitors. Even though the elders do not speak English, the younger members of the tribe act as translators. The Hornbill Festival offers a window to the great age-old culture and traditions of Nagaland. The Nagas, traditionally known for their kind and friendly manner, open their lives each year in an attempt to showcase the best the region has to offer. The 17 different tribes of Nagaland, all differentiated by their traditional attire, food and folk dances, demonstrate their rich culture and traditions at the Hornbill Festival. The festival attracts a large number of tourists and has become larger and more popular over the years. Due to its popularity, the Tourism Department of Nagaland has made the decision to extend the Hornbill Festival by another three days from 2013 onwards and it now takes place from the 1st through to the 10th of December annually. This not only offers tourists a long, peaceful visit to the region, but also the opportunity to better understand the uniqueness of the Naga people. Atsuki is the name of the folk 
Various types of meats in all forms, whether roasted, dried or smoked, are available in traditional Naga style. The ultimate in Naga cuisine is traditional rice beer. This is a must-have for all visitors. The night bazaar is a big hit with families, friends and visitors alike, where all kinds of Naga traditional crafts, food items, stationery and of course the Naga king chili pickle can be found. The bamboo pavilion is made entirely of bamboo and is the main souvenir shop. It completes the Naga package. Another event, true to the region, is the traditional stone pulling ceremony of the Angami tribe. The ceremony was the first of its kind in recent years. Many gathered, both young and old, dressed in traditional attire to take part in the ceremony, which brought the highway to a standstill for the duration of the ceremony. Women from the village lead the ceremony carrying naga baskets filled with nourishment for the stone pullers as well as with the local rice beer. Several highly placed individuals attended, including the chief minister of Nagaland, Nifurio. The ceremony concluded with victory dances and a community feast. Various competitions take place during the Hornbill Festival. They range from naga wrestling, chili eating competitions with the fiery king chili, Well, you think it's really something too bad? <laughs> the pork eating competition. Definitely not the easiest thing to do. If you'd like to volunteer to participate at the end of the show, the, the table is open. There's no price for that, unfortunately. But if you want to volunteer to participate, you're most welcome at the end of the 12 or 16 contestants. Meat kicking. The traditional fire making competition. Greased bowl climbing. And for the younger ones, the kids carnival. Footloose, a competition to spot the latest stars in music and dance, was held for the first time in 2013 and the International Hornbill Rock Contest created a platform for many artists and musicians. An initiative was taken to preserve this rich cultural heritage of the Nagas, to bring unity among the various tribes and to boost tourism in the region and so the Hornbill Festival was born. One of the long-standing traditions of this event is seen on the last day of the festival. The lighting of the traditional bonfire takes place, while all the tribes line up for a unity dance. Visitors are encouraged to join in the ceremonial dance. The dance signifies unity among the different people of the region. It is a beautiful sight for visitors and is the closure to a unique experience of the North East, surely unforgettable. Nagaland continues to be discovered and the Hornbill Festival offers such an opportunity to play, to learn and to take a trip to the beautiful hills of Nagaland.